the Jokin. Hello everybody, welcome to another Hearthstone Battlegrounds video. So I've got a couple of matches today and we can jump right in. So while this is doing its thing and I'm tripling up stuff wrongly and whatever, uh, just by the way, the reason is wrong, it's because I had the demon and nothing to eat, so I had to eat my other big unit. Um, so just the state of the game at the moment, I'm enjoying it quite a bit, it's a little bit slower, uh, with the Lestra gone and with the, um, the tickets gone, it's it's a little bit slower and it's a more, more taunt based game. I haven't been getting so many wins, so I've got to be honest, uh, wins are few and far between, but um, I am trying to play mostly for for third second position and if I'm lucky first so um, it's still been good just you know um, I got to like just below 50 wins very quickly and uh, to get to 50 was really hard so um, I mean yeah we can talk more about that later but yeah wh what am I doing yeah I'm, I'm just taking soul devourers and eating ones and uh, putting an illustra in which is badly placed and ending with a uh, ending with that buff unit that's just and being slow so all in all not the best match uh let's have a look at what he's got he's got poison all across the board murloc obviously been scaling with the brand my board's just play stupid really um there's nothing much really to say <laughs> it's, it's just a crap game why have the illustro when you've got the selfless why have the selfless taunt first uh why have it you know why have it so uh, far back i have it more in the front but then the illustra is a waste um yeah not my best match but it's uh good enough for a second position as a third position so he just outscales me with his poison and it's a bad business all around hmm. let's rather go on to the next one i think Okay, so I'm playing Zephyrus here. I've got a bit of gold all across the board. A nice biggish fiend. I've got a nice light fang, which is just buffing everything. I've got a Lestra. Um, I, my big units out in front with a weaver waiting in the wings. A big dong that is, um, that's uh, divine shielded. So this is, this is a pretty good composition. He's got poison and he's got this and he's got that. And oh, he's also left the game because I trounced him the previous round. So this was the last round and he um, he left. So uh, not much to look at his composition. It's just, it was basically poison murlocs. Uh, to be fair though, he almost had me. I mean, I had one health at the end there with one divine shield and one plant. So it's not like it was, I was trouncing him. Um, maybe he just couldn't pick up what he was looking for and thought, oh, game over so yeah not a bad not a bad one let's go on to the next one so i kept on doing this red well to skip experiment with Sarah. Uh, i tried to scale it a little bit more but <laughs> i just can't get it right so you need you need cali somewhere ar around here so it's this thing of like <clears throat> you've got to get over the hump you got to get over the hump of the mid game of like okay you need to get to six or get to five get a triple get cali and then start scaling uh then i think it might still work but um you know there's this early game you're very powerful middle game you are just horrible and uh and you can't even get to the late game i mean here i'm getting to seventh uh, in seventh position so not really worth running i guess anymore um it, uh, this is really kind of even sad man you Sarah <laughs> I've been I've been trying to get this thing to work so bloody much that um now when I get to pick her I just like skip her so um yeah basically uh, I'm I'm hedging my bets like yeah maybe my divine shield unit can do something but I mean there's not a lot of attack there so I think we all know what's gonna happen So is his board worth talking about? Not really. I mean, uh, he's got a bunch of like he's got a light fang and he's got hyenas and all sorts of stuff. The fact is, most anything beats me at this point in time. Um, it looks good in the beginning. I, I kind of destroy his, all these smaller units, and uh, but then you know with the hyena there and all these things dying, his scaling is just uh, just smashes me, and it's um, it's a bit of bad business. So. Uh, 
which I think is going to become a catchphrase for some of these, is a bit of bad business. So yeah, bad business all around, and uh, I die a gruesome death. Mm. Yeah, the experiment, she's done. Seventh place, on to the next one. Okay, so I'm playing what Nosdormu or whatever the free uh, the free refresh guy. Uh, um, pretty good board, I think. Fiend, uh, Cyclone, Weaver. Uh, so I mentioned it later in the analysis, uh, but you know I kind of did this the wrong way around. So the good thing to notice here is there's a pirate there at 76.66, and I, if I thought first my fiend was actually useless, but it buffed my Weaver, and I wouldn't have killed that that uh, um, that uh, gold grubber if it didn't do that now would I still have one most likely I mean I've got three units left they're pretty big boys but uh, you never know you know that gold grubber getting two hits and um, yeah could have uh, could have gone a bit different so good win yeah so I think uh, let's go on to the analysis then right Okay, let's quickly run through the analysis. We're talking about these four matches. So it's Syndra, Gosa, Zephyrus, Isera, and Nosdormu. Um, all on the 3rd and the 4th of Feb, uh, during the day and during the afternoon. So, so nothing out of the ordinary. Um, the, best, uh, the best rank I got was 7-3-7-4-2. And my results were 3rd, 1st, 7th for that stupid experiment, which I might stop doing. And then first again. So um, I think my best, let's just look at the highest health. Uh, let's see if there's anything interesting here. My highest attack start was 87. My highest health start was 89. Um, again, not the biggest health pool. And uh, highest attack at the end was a 70. Oh no, wait, I had an 87 there as well. And highest health at the end, 32. But this one, I guess, was the most, um, was the best one because I had three units left over, still had 26 health. Although the Zephyrus one wasn't too bad either, but I just felt more comfortable with the Nosdormu one. So we're gonna look at that as a, a deeper analysis, but yeah, it was a Demon, Menagerie, Dragons and Elemental, uh, with the last one being Cyclone, Weaver, Little Rag and Fiend. So um, the reason I first had Fiend out, but then, um, what I saw was when I was like uh, playing it in slow motion, the fiend actually buffed the weaver, and uh, if the be fiend didn't buff the weaver, it wouldn't kill the one big enemy. So that it, that's why it became actually pretty important. So something to be said for positioning, not really. Big minions at the front, even though they're taunt. A little rag right there at the end, uh, just for scaling. The dung could have probably been replaced with something else, but. Um, yeah, not too bad, and quite a pretty good combination. Mostly all gold, and yeah, that's it. So um, pretty good, I think. Um, my ranking climb, not much. Uh, here and there. Uh, let's see, highest attack. Attack was climbing a little bit, and the uh, highest health minion. I should make this smaller. Okay. Um, yeah, not a not a bad. That last little thing at the end there, not a not the worst in the world. Not my best either, so I need to get my health up. I think that's the long and the short of it. Um, anything else we want to highlight? What was the Zephyrus? It was a Fiend, Weaver, Lifefang and Elystra. We know Elystra's out of the game now. And uh, the Dragons, the Ysera was the Red Well um, experiment, and I think we're stopping with that. So yeah, not a bad run of games. On to the next one. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Hi guys, uh, just a quick little note at the end here. It's Pajukan. Um, I just uh, thought I should say a couple of things. So first things first, uh, for those who's asking, um, I'm playing from South Africa, so I'm in a South African time zone. So I'm obviously hitting different servers at different times. I think I'm mostly on the European server. Second thing is, you'll notice I'm playing on my iPad. I'm playing on an iPad uh, Pro, the new one. Um, so I'm not playing really on my desktop, mainly because I travel quite a lot and uh, this is the easiest way for me to get around. 
and you know I'm, I'm gonna travel again from next week so um, I'm gonna go on this train ride and go to Cape Town and, and all sorts of stuff so this just makes it easy for me um, so I don't know if I'm playing other users than normal people I don't know how it works anyways uh, like and subscribe to the video guys it helps a lot and uh, let me know what you think thanks bye